Coming up on this week's show, we take a look at the early season Belgian classics, as well as the Vuelta Catalunya Criterium International, and we take a little look at the GCN Inner Tube Challenge, GCN Instant Leg Wax, Caption of the Week, and Tweet of the Week from Greg Henderson. First up, it's E3 Haralbeck, and Peter Sagan of Cannondale adds to his burgeoning Palmares. But it was Team Sky's Geraint Thomas who split the field on the Ode Quermont, forcing a split of Peter Sagan and the Amiga Farmer Quickstep duo of Stein Vandenberg and Nicky Terpstra. Now Terpstra had already taken out Dwarz Dwarz Vlaanderen earlier in the week. The leading quartet worked smoothly together in the finale, but were chased furiously by Stein de Volda of Trek Factory Racing after Fabian Cancellara made it back to the second group after being caught behind a crash. But it wasn't to be. The final sprint was taken by several lengths by Peter Sagan, who timed his sprint to perfection, coming off the wheel of Geraint Thomas after the lead out by Stein Vandenberg. And it was Nicky Terpstra who nipped in to take second place. Last week's caption of the week winner is Thomas Fahey with Milan San Remo Fashion Thief. Reward for whoever can identify this sheepish figure. Good stuff. And this week's caption comes from the Tour of Catalonia, a rather interesting service car. It's with a very heavy heart that we report that British mountain bike journalist Steve Warland has died. To many, Steve was the John Peel of mountain bike journalism and he will be sorely missed. Our thoughts are with his partner Joe and the daughter Holly at this very difficult time. Giant Shimano's John Degenkolb took out Gent Wevelgem to add to his sparkling Palmares, beating FDJ's Arno Damar and Peter Sagan in a raging bunch sprint. But the race was peppered by crashes which took out such notables as Andre Greipel and Ian Stannard. In the women's event, Lauren Hall claimed her first major victory, beating the Dutch duo of Jenaint Ensing and Vera Kaduda in the final sprint, after the trio had distanced themselves from a breakaway group of eight in the final kilometre. Tech of the week is GCN's Instant Leg Wax. Now, one of our most requested videos is how to shave your legs. But here at GCN, we thought we'd take things a little bit further and have developed our own product. Last week in Mallorca, we filmed a commercial for the latest product developed by Global Cycling Network in GCN Instant Leg Wax. For the faster shave in the Peloton, it's GCN's Instant Leg Wax. No shaving, no fuss, just apply the balm to your legs, it's slightly warm, to achieve perfection and the smoothest legs in the peloton. Available online soon and at all good stockists. In the Vuelta a Catalunya, Joachim Rodriguez took out the victory for the second time in his career, beating Alberto Contador by a slender four seconds and BMC's TJ van Garderen in third. It certainly was a race that tested the form of the Grand Tour contenders with Nara Quintana of Mobistar in fifth place overall and Tour de France winner Chris Froome of Team Sky in sixth. This year we're going to find out who can change an inner tube the fastest in the peloton. So the clock starts as soon as you pick the wheel up. You've got the option of using two tyre levers to remove the existing inner tube and then you want to put the new one in before pumping it up to 100 psi. Then the clock stops. Three, two, one, go. GCN Inner Tube Challenge will be making its way across and through the peloton this year, but we want to see just how fast you can change a tube. So post your videos to us, full instructions are in the comments section down below. The race known as the Mini Tour de France was held this weekend over the beautiful twisting roads in Corsica, and it was AG2R's Jean-Christophe Perraud who took overall honours from Matthias Frank of I Am Cycling and NetApp Endura's Thiago Machado. 
Our Strava Club is nearly at an amazing 4,000 members, and this week's leaders are Distance, Steve Coogland, Longest Ride, Shumpai Ogwa, Climbing, Matt Stevens, Sako Sakalabra. Uh, oh, that's, uh, that's Cormac Keeney. This week's tweet of the week is from Greg Henderson. Very regular tweeter is Greg. Sorry for my mate at Andre Greipel. He is strong though. He ripped ligaments off his clavicle and still didn't break a bone. Hashtag could play rugby. Good stuff, Greg. The second round of the Women's World Cup, the Trofeo Alfredo Binder in Italy, was taken out by Emma Johansson, her second win in a week. But with second place on the day, Lizzie Armistead maintains her lead in the overall classification. In other race news, Sky's Peter Kenyak took his first overall win in the Internazionale Copi e Batali. There are also stage wins for teammates Dario Coltaldo, who was second overall, and Ben Swift, who took the first sprint opening stage. Can GCN presenters swim? <clears throat> Have you seen the trailer? Oh, Matt. The way it is. We shot lots of content in our seven days in Mallorca, all of which will be online soon. Make sure you share our videos, and if you haven't subscribed already, please do subscribe, and we'll see you all next week. Thanks for watching. Dan, I forgot my wallet. Dan <laughs> 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 <Stand> with a... <laughs> no, we're not. <laughs> it's on both sides and stuff. For how to change Cantagnolo brake shoes, click here. And for subscribing to GCN, click on my wig.